Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are back in that Superstition Sunrise RV Resort here in Apache Junction, Arizona. And we're looking at a 1996 Skyline Kensington. Uh, the lady that owns this is actually a year-round resident and uh, just the sweetest lady. Her son lives in the area and she's actually gonna move into a guest house that her son has on his property. So um, this will be available pretty quick. Uh, the site fees are paid up until December and she's including those in her list price. And you can see it does have the front uh, window awning and the tinted windows. Nice big Arizona room. Um, I stepped it off, it's about 15 by 21. So it's a really good size. Um, it has these nice platform steps uh, with the storage underneath. And she's been leaving it pretty well fully furnished, but uh, so just about three streets from the clubhouse. Great location. And just adorable property. She's really kept it up. Ow. Hello. <laughs> this is Susan and Susan I've told him a little bit about the property and that you're gonna be moving into your son's guest house or casita and that you've been living here year-round right um, you've owned the property for about three years now two and a half. three and a half okay two and a half, two and a half. okay yeah and uh, you've just it's just adorable the decor you have in here I know you're gonna be taking most of your decorations but uh, for somebody that does have a lot of pictures or wall hangs, there's lots of places to put stuff for sure. Right. Um, one nice thing is it does have the covered valances up on top. And uh, there was a pentazoid window up there, but in order to protect from the sun, she actually made a homemade like window screen there. <laughs> right. That's nice. And, um, oh, show the on the blinds too, what you did with the blinds. Oh, for the, the backing? Yes. You got the blackout. Yeah, that's really nice. Which helps because the sun comes in in the afternoon and it really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So have you enjoyed Superstition Sunrise? I have. There's so much to do here in the wintertime when, it, when the snowbirds are here. It's in the summertime, it's lonely. <laughs> yeah, not so many people live in here year round. Oh, no, everybody leaves by <laughs> March. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's still affordable um, housing if somebody yes. needed year-round residency. They just raised the rent to 5450 a year. Uh, but that it still includes the water, sewer, garbage, and basic cable. Right. So, you know, it's still pretty reasonable, um, affordable to live in. And now you're going to be leaving most of the furniture and furnishings. Yes. We do have a list. Yes. Um, but I know these easy chairs are going to stay. You are taking your lighthouse lamp. But um, that table lamp will stay, and then you've got the two recliners. And this is a nice Berber carpet as well. And then you're gonna be leaving that flat screen TV. Yes. And there's quite a bit of storage, isn't there? With oh, the a lot China of storage. Hutch and now, do those have the pull-out drawers right yes. there? Oh yeah, those are nice. Yeah. Now, are you going to be taking most of your dishes, silverware, pots, pans, things like that? Uh, some of them, but not all of them. Okay, so you, they, you'd leave enough for right. somebody to kind of get started right. here? Yes. Okay, and then also the uh, dinette's going to stay, and those are nice with the padded chairs. Um, she is refabricating those. Right, I am. <laughs> <laughs> they will be done. Yeah, and it's neat, too. I mean, just the curtains in here are so cute, and it's made out of that same fabric that you've got up there just everything is so well color coordinated and uh, lots of storage in that china hutch as well i don't even know if we call them china hutches anymore <laughs> i don't know what they're called they're oh yeah kind of a buffet with base and overhead storage not too many people have china anymore it seems like no they don't so um now you also got new appliances when you moved in yes so let's talk about those because okay. that's really nice got the uh the range glass top mm -hmm. and the microwave yep all stainless steel and the uh refrigerator three yeah. doors and that's really nice i mean it's i actually have not seen the side by side with the base freezer in a park model before 
So it's uh, smaller than what you would find in a residential home, but let's open that up. It's it's got. Does they, it have uh, water I, and ice? I, I asked. I wanted a side by side, but somehow or another they got mixed up, and I like this. I one. do too. Yeah, this is great. Look at all this storage in there. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now, does the water and ice work? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, there is no ice. Just oh, okay. The water. Just the water. Okay. All right, and you've got the recessed indirect fluorescent lighting, but the countertops, everything looks like it's in really good shape. Um, the linoleum carpet, really good condition. Everything is just clean, clean, clean. There's lots of storage down here Yeah. On, on the other side over there. Now, wasn't it your friend that you talked to, what was it, last night, that asked you if you got the toothbrush out to clean Oh, yes. <laughs> You know, that's nice, though, especially for our Canadians. Canadians have a different standard of clean, typically, than the U.S. citizens do. They're, like, really, really picky, and this looks like a Canadian clean property. You're not from Canada, are you? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Where are you from originally? I was born in Kentucky. Oh, okay. Great. And then moved here from Florida. Yeah. Yeah. You moved out to be closer to your son. son. Yeah. Right. So now you'll be really close to him. Right. Yeah. Well, you got to take care of the grass over there, so it'll be a lot easier <laughs> if you're right there. You don't have to drive every day. That's right. <laughs> um, go Bermuda grass, right? Oh, don't like that stuff. <laughs> and um, the bathroom's a good size, too. It has the built-in uh, linen right here in the bath. And then... Nice uh, countertops, wide countertops with the base uh, drawers. Now she's going to be taking this little towel rack thing. That's pretty cute. And then there's a tub shower combination. Looks like an adjustable shower head. And then we'll go into the bedroom. We've got a storage over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of storage. Yeah, you really can't get enough storage in these. No. Another pocket door entry into the bedroom. And then um, this has the optional rear uh, pop-out chest. There's another vanity here. And overhead storage here. More storage here. Jeez. So this goes, is, does this connect to the bathroom side? No. Oh, okay, so that's separate. But there's a top and two, two shelves over there uh -huh. on that one. And you've got the mirrored wardrobes with the base drawers. And then there's the long side for hanging right here, correct? Right. Yep, yeah, so you've got the long side here. And then the shirt and skirt or shirt and short side on the other. And now this is a lift and storage bed. So it's got the hydraulic lift. Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, lots of storage underneath. Put and then to go, put to use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would say. Well, I mean, you live year round, so I mean, it's amazing yes. how well your stuff fits in here. Well, that's some of my Christmas de uh, decorations in there, down there too. Yeah. <laughs> And then you got the reading lights, and then um, you're going to be replacing the light on the this? Lights. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then uh, just a couple steps down into the Arizona room. It is a raised Arizona room, though. It's just two steps down, which gives you plenty a, of headroom. I use this as a pantry. As a pantry, It's yeah. actually a closet. Yeah. No, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. A nice size Arizona room. I'm gonna step back here to see if they can get a perspective of how big this Arizona room is. And uh, I really like the configuration of this Arizona room. Like I said, it's about a 15 by 21 approximately. I'm gonna double step that off again. But um, a lot of times to in order to get the washer and dryer and the second half bath in you lose like the back half of the arizona room 
And uh, this one actually is really well set up. You've got kind of your sitting area, living room area here. Now you're gonna be leaving the sofa sleeper. Yes. The two little uh, front coffee tables. And you were planning on moving that side table upstairs. Um, upstairs. Okay. And then uh, you're gonna be leaving the electric fireplace, the flat screen. You're gonna be taking your shelves. But you are gonna be leaving that chair yes. in the ottoman. The, the ottoman and the chair. Okay. And the bookcases over here. Will yeah. Be. Yeah, that's nice to have the built in shelving. And then there's extra storage here, too. Yes. This is another closet. Yeah, that's great. And it goes all, all the way over. That's a place. Lots of shelving. Yeah, that's great. Okay, and then let's show them the second half bath and laundry room. And the, the washer and dryer have been replaced as well. And those are the Samsung front loads. And they're about the same age as the uh, range microwave? Two years. Two years, okay. Yeah, those are really nice. And then you got a second half bath here. This is really a perfect configuration. And then it just closes up. Yeah, I like that. That way you can make this area back here your office, which is how you have it set up. So you're gonna be leaving the roll top desk. Yes. But you're taking your uh, filing cabinet and then this, and, and no computer this area. Okay. There. All right. Now, did you say you had um, a shed in the back as well? Yes. You want me to open it up? Oh, no, it's okay. okay. So you just keep like your lawn stuff in here? Uh, yes. Like, uh, not that cool. you have too big of a lawn, but yeah. You can see it has the dining room bay on the off side there, additional window awnings. It has the shingle roof. Everything looks really good. Let's go back in and then we'll talk about the new I, heat pump that you're going to have installed. Okay. Nice block patio. So you're going to be putting in a brand new heat pump. Right, probably Thursday. Okay, and that'll be a three ton? Three ton. Oh, that's great. That's a huge value. So that'll probably come with a warranty and everything. 10 years. Oh, that's awesome. So um, your list price on this is 33.9 and that includes the heat pump? Yes. Wow, that's a great buy. Yeah, that's an expensive item. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, great. Well, is there anything that you can think of that maybe we haven't covered? The, uh, all the verticals have been, uh, are new. I replaced them when I came in. Okay. These, uh, curtains are also have the backing. Yeah, on. very they're, nice. They're, I didn't make these. I, I bought these. But uh, they will, uh, when they're closed, they help keep the sun, the heat out. Also. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, all right. Is there anything else? Uh, no, I can't think of anything. Okay, great. Well, um, thank you for the interview. Oh, thank and you. And I'll give them our contact information. We're going to be helping be her legs and help do some of the paperwork and title transfer and stuff for her when the property is sold. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Susan. Well, thank you. <laughs> if you're interested in this property, the web reference number on this one is SS2114AJ. And uh, just a gorgeous property, pretty much fully furnished, available for quick possession, and it's gonna have that brand new heat pump for 33.9, includes rent uh, until December of 2018, and a great community, low space rent, still includes the water, sewer, garbage, and basic cable. So I thank you for tuning in, and I appreciate your being a subscriber to our channel. Um, if you are a subscriber, we really appreciate you, you know, liking, giving us comments or sharing these videos with people you think might be interested in these properties. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button. Once you do, you'll see a little bell icon 
when you click on the bell icon, you can turn on notifications. And what that does is as soon as a new video is uploaded, YouTube will notify you by email. And that way you can keep track of all of these new properties as they become available. And uh, this is a beautiful property. Smells good, clean, super nice lady. Lots of upgrades, including the stainless steel appliances. And it will have the brand new heat pump. So if you're interested, feel free to call or text 480-299-7236. And I'm Kara. Thanks for tuning in.